Hey, Leo. This is a general reading for the sign of Leo. If you have Leo anywhere in your birth chart, this message is for you. Thank you, Spirit. Messages for the sign of Leo. Again, Leo, this is a general reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest. Always practice good discretion um, when seeking advice or uh, referring to uh, tarot or referring to your horoscope. Again, always practice good discretion. Thank you, Spirit. Messages for the sign of Leo. Thank you, Spirit. Nice cards coming out for you this week, Leo. Also, Leo, we did want to spend a little bit of time talking about the new moon on October 14th. That new moon is going to be super powered by the lunar eclipse. The combined energy of the lunar eclipse and the new moon has the ability to alter or change our life. This energy, um, the universe is creating an environment where we will be compelled to act. And by preparing for this burst of energy, it allows us to harness that energy instead of letting us, letting that energy toss us to the wind, so to speak. And we can prepare for that supercharged energy with a ritual, maybe an intention setting ritual or um, a goal setting ritual, but really take that energy and harness it into, instead of letting it toss us about. And we have the hangman as the underlying message, the foundation, the core of this message. And we see the hangman in did a few weeks ago you have the hangman in one of your readings as well? But the hangman is really about um, seeking enlightenment, seeking inner truth, connecting with spirit. If, if we look closer at this hangman, we see that he has chosen to hang himself on the tree as a way to seek greater enlightenment, greater knowledge, greater inner truth, greater wisdom. And let's see how that hangman plays into the rest of your reading. And in your public life, in your professional life, in your career, we start off with this nine of cups. Enjoying abundance, contracts, moving forward in knowledge and wisdom. And if we look at this Nine of Cups, he's prepared for a banquet. He is guarding his banquet. He is guarding his feast. A legal commitment. Moving forward in knowledge. Moving forward in truth. You Leo are really wanting to shake things up and you're really wanting to take a risk but you're wanting to take a calculated risk a calculated risk that will move you forward
and give you the success that you're seeking. And so it looks, it feels to me like Leo that you have reached a certain degree, a certain level of success in your public life. You've reached a certain level of success in your career, in your finances. But although it's rewarding, it's you're wanting more. You're wanting to add more. You're wanting to commit to more. You're wanting to shake things up to become even more successful. You are wanting to be the top dog. You're wanting to be the king. You're wanting to be the leader. You're wanting to be in charge. And you're wanting everybody to know that you're in charge. So quite possibly you are in charge. You are uh, the lead. But maybe some people question that some people are not aware of that or maybe you're not getting the recognition for being the leader for being the one in charge and you're wanting to shake that up you're wanting to change that and move into the future or move forward as you want to be known as the one. You want to be known as the top dog. You want other people to respect that. You want other people to see that. Leo, successful people do take calculated risk. They do take calculated risk. And so calculated risks are well thought out. And they have a clear plan of action. And so even with that clear plan, plan of action there may be some unknowns or there may be risk along the way but we know if we follow this clear path or we follow the path that we have set forth we will be successful and I do believe that that is what's being called for here is that you have a clear path and well thought out plan that you have thought about. And here we see that this hangman is driven by the four of wands. And I always say that four of wands is the breaking free the breaking free, the charting your own path, the living the life that is genuine to you. But do take time to consider and come up with a well thought plan and you will be successful. In your home life, in your private life, in your personal life. Look at you here as the emperor stepping into your light. Leaving the comfortable behind and starting a new journey.
stepping into your power. And so I think in both your work life and your home life, your public life and your private life, you are really coming in, are really stepping into your power. Or you can really feel the changes coming. You can really sense that they're starting to take shape, that they're starting to form. And you're moving beyond, moving beyond the physical moving beyond the the scene and i do believe again that's why we have this hangman card here for you leo you're moving beyond the scene and moving into the spiritual you're moving into the unseen and that is a risk within itself leo and I see you taking that risk, taking that leap of faith into the unknown. These big changes that are occurring, these big changes that are happening, are happening within you. Spirit has been sending you signs. On the direction to go. Your inner truth, your inner wisdom, your intuition. You are following that. You are trusting that. Surprised we didn't see the hermit card here. But you are trusting that. And really following your own star, really following your own light. Keep looking within, Leo. Keep looking within and trust and trust. Final thoughts, final messages here for the Leo, the Queen of Wands, the Tower, the end of journey, the end of lack, the end of want. Sorry about that, Leo. Oh my gosh, that alarm did startle me. But um, yes, and so we were talking about the end of lack, the end of a journey, the end of a situation that has been causing lack. And this end is going to be brought about, brought about um, in a tower moment. And Honestly, Leo, I am not surprised to see the Tower card in this reading. And again, I'm not surprised because of the energy of that supercharged moon. And that supercharged new moon during that lunar eclipse. Also, we can harness that energy. Um, you may want to try maybe a candle ritual to help set your intentions, to help kind of set you on the right path or continue along the right path. Um, I will post in the description box um, a simple candle ritual that you may like to try or may like to follow to help set your intentions. But th this tower card, I do believe, is talking about the combined energy of that lunar eclipse and that new moon 
And not only you, but all of us will be experiencing um, that energy for change, that energy that will compel us to act. And I really do believe that you are in are coming to a time in your life where you are going to be compelled to act compelled to make a change and this change is going to lead to an end of lack and we see you here as this beautiful queen of wands and leo you leos do in themselves as a zodiac sign have a tendency to withdraw from things that are uncomfortable things like spirituality things like that happened to you in your past or different views or varying views of the world and spirit is really calling spirit is really asking us to let go and trust and not withdraw from the things that are uncomfortable for us to face those things and to face those things head on it is only when we face those things that are uncomfortable for us or face those things that have a tendency to have us withdraw that we're able to overcome those that we're able to leave those behind and I do see, especially with this Emperor card, this King of Swords, and even with this King, Queen of Wands, that you have the strength, you have the courage, you have the ability to face whatever it is that you've been withdrawing from. And that is the message that I have for Leo. Thank you for your comments, Leo. You have a blessed week.